In this video, we're gonna break down the Google software engineering interview process and interview questions. When I think about Google, the first thing I think about is this is more of a cliche, but true, engineering company than a product company. When it comes to their coding rounds and their system design rounds, compared to other FANG companies, I'm looking at you, Amazon, looking at you, Facebook, Google cares more about your thought process and less than the results that you get to in those technical rounds. They are much more of a theoretical styled company when it comes to their technical questions that they ask. You're never going to see an interview at Google that asks you a coding or system design question that actually maps to what you'd be doing on the job because they have team dependent rounds. Every candidate goes through the same interview process because you're matched to a team after you get an offer. In terms of the hardest, trickiest questions out there you can find in the wild, Google takes the top tier. System design and coding, they're gonna be hard. They're gonna be original. They seem to pride themselves on an interviewer culture of asking questions that you can't find anywhere else or prep for on leak code. So that's the question I just got to. Uh, they, they like to make it academically hard. Google is notorious for downleveling, especially in tough markets. Sounds crazy, but I've seen a former CTO take an L4 job at Google. L4 is mid-level for most people. I've seen former directors take senior roles. It's something that happens a lot. So you want to avoid downleveling by presenting yourself at the level you actually are throughout the entire stage of the process, from the recruiter screen to the tech screen to the onsite. Um, one thing candidates get wrong is not understanding that it's normal to take one to three months to prep for your on-site interview at Google. I say on-site, but really it's it's virtual sometimes too. But if you're unprepared, do not feel bad about rescheduling. They do not care. At their size and stage, you starting in June or November means nothing to them. So again, because they match you to a team after you get an offer, there's literally zero time sensitivity when it comes to completing the process at Google. They have an overhyped culture screen. Don't believe the BS online that talks about Googliness, like it's this multi-factor, rigorous, behavioral, and culture screen. That is not true, it does not exist. The behavioral rounds at Google are unique because there's internal kind of pushback when they announced that uh, behavioral rounds would be required for software engineering roles. So there's basically two kind of interviewers at Google for behavioral rounds, there's the ones that just don't accept the calendar invites because they don't want to do it. And there's the ones that actually will accept the calendar invites, but they just show up and check the boxes because they really don't agree with it being an interview round in the first place. They see it as HRBS. So still, it gets harder as you get up the levels in the software engineering ladder, but still it's much easier compared to a place like Apple or Netflix. Google has rules of thumb for down leveling. So if you actually talk to somebody who's an interviewer there, you can probably find this out for any level that you're going for. But like, for example, if you're trying to get an L6 job, it's expected that you've at least done technical leadership for 10 people before getting that job. So not people management, but like mentorship, technical direction, anything involving architecture, but overseeing at least a work of 10 people or helping the work of 10 people that you're leading. Make sure to check out this guide that we have about the process. It actually goes through each round step-by-step step for what you get asked. And we recommend it as a, a resource before you even take the interview at Google so you know what to expect. If you want to ace your Google software engineering interviews, check out our software interview prep course. We cover behavioral, system design, and coding rounds. Try it for free at tryexponent.com.